You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Speaking of racism, the, Na the New York Police Department has fired Deputy Inspector James Coble after an investigation revealed that he posted hundreds of racist and sexist statements on an online message board. Between June 2019 and September 2020, Coble posted more than 500 messages on an online message board used by current and former cops to vent about politics, police matters, and the media. Some of Coble's messages included comments referring to Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark as a gap-toothed wild beast, Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty as a savage, and former President Barack Obama as a Muslim savage. On January 11th, Coble filed for retirement. However, the department fired him before 30 days had passed, the time needed to process his retirement. Coble will still get his pension, but he may lose his 19 months of accrued vacation time, which is worth more than $280,000. I say snatch it all. Good, good. This, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it, there is no context where what he said could have been taken any other way. I mean, this is the most demeaning and a purpose, purposefully hateful things that you could possibly say. And, to and wait, 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 hold on, Misha, it gets better. He was the anti-harassment cop for <laughs> NYPD. <laughs> yeah. how, how are these people getting chosen? I Easy. Like the litmus test. <laughs> the anti-harassment cop. Apartment. That's the that's the environment. They they believe in arrest. They don't care. And see, it, look, it's just like Michael the other day when we the, the cops in Georgia who got busted because mm -hmm. they were actually they had the body cam running. They racism was being recorded. That's the piece though. And people say it's it's unfair for you to call cops uh, racist. <laughs> well, we what, 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 <laughs> what's what happening doing. is is that a lot of people's everyday actions and everyday uh, vernacular and sayings are being exposed and they're being held accountable. But when you hold white supremacists accountable, then you then they say you're picking on them. Now, you, you just talked about fragility, okay, and these white supremacists. Now, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, who wrote the ISIS papers, and, and you know, that was, that was a brilliant sister. I knew Dr. Wilson. She talked about European white supremacy and racism, but you have people like one of my teachers, Professor Kaba Hiawatha Kamene, who calls it white fragility because they're really fragile. They're not superior, they're fragile. So you, you hit on something what you said because you, you, when you listen to them, they can't take out criticism like they dish out. If you look at uh, 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 Marjorie Taylor Greene yesterday, you know, she was she was she wasn't crying, but she was crying. She was shedding these virtual white tears. But then today she was defiant, saying being on the committee was a waste of time. Well, why was why was your ass on the committee then? Right. Why were you place? fighting yeah. for it? Why, why were you fighting for it? And why was your ass on three committees in the first place? You know, so you, so if you sit back and just analyze this, do a systems analysis, as Dr. Leonard Jeffries would say, do a systems analysis, you would see how really fragile and weak many of these people are but and insecure really basic level, hey. on a really basic level uh look when you when it's when you on social media it's public record it's public record i don't understand how people don't understand right that. right but see the words public record this fool was <laughs> this fool was using a pseudonym called clouseau and he was putting personal details uh on his post that actually they were able to come back and it matched his Okay. Oh, Ooh, you always go. So, so I, so I greatly appreciate. I look. Let me say it right now. I want to thank all of you bigots. <laughs> I want to thank you, racists. I want to thank you for revealing who you are. I want to thank you for being so public. And I keep right. saying, y'all, every time one of them lose their job, I want somebody black to replace them. Yeah. Every time. That's yep. my desire. Yep. I desire every single night we've got some of the top black experts you're not gonna see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis 
That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honoré, the nation's first black surgeon general, Dr. Jocelyn Elders, John Hope Bryan, he is the founder of Operation Hope, Senator Kamala Harris of California, Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin, Congresswoman Karen Bass, and Commissioner Omari Hardick, Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams, Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens, Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, Howard University student, Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kit Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George's Benjamin, uh, executive director of the Ameri American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudill, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York, William Spring, AFL-CIO economist, uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senior and Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician, Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney, Aisha Brave Boy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division strategist of Dr. Cindy Duke. Uh, she is a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep. Health and wellness specialist, Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand, Dr. Julian Malvo, economist, president, Mayor of Bennett College, Coroner Michael Fowler, is the Mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist Suzette Clark, is Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and Executive Director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugo, President elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You get the top medical experts, the top business experts, top political experts, top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do, unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.